tried to turn them down, the city stepped up to help. The city helped us find... It's Digital Transition Day in New York. Here we are at about 12.25. We're going to watch the channels go off the air on analog. ...to create jobs and keep the middle class here. Without the small businesses, you lose the passion and the soul of what New York is. And I know that the mayor definitely understands that. check on some of the stories we're working on for Eyewitness News at 5. For that, let's go to Shade Pattern Law in the newsroom. Shade. Hello, uh, Ken and Lori. Well, coming up tonight at 5, a case of mistaken identity. A local man accused of stabbing the men he thought robbed his wife. But did he attack the wrong men? Plus, treating prostate cancer. New information on what will really help you live longer and the one thing doctors need to keep in mind when treating it. And how one girl says a home run at a Yankees game helped her get a heart transplant. We're going to have those stories tonight after Oprah on Eyewitness News at 5. And you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for and we are glad to have you on this historic day, this historic moment. We've been talking for months about the digital transition. Now it is finally happening. We are on the brink of making TV history. We are in the final minutes of broadcasting in analog. At 12.30, we will officially make the switch to digital TV. Bill Ritter rejoins us from one of our control rooms as we count down to the big moment. Bill? Not just one of our control rooms, the place where we're going to push the switch, and you can see that in less than two minutes. This really is a historic moment, Ken and Lori, as the hourglass on analog runs out. You know, most people in the tri-state, the overwhelming majority, already have digital. But there was always a choice in the matter. That choice is no more at, as of 1230. It is really a big way, a big change in the way we communicate. It's been more than 80 years since the invention of television, and really few things have changed our lives more. In the first years of commercial broadcasting, TV was limited to just a few live programs and newsreels a few hours a day. Color changed the landscape dramatically, and then cable turned TV on its ear. Some of us remember when television stations used to sign off in the wee hours of the morning. Now, that doesn't happen anymore. And even though analog TV is going away, and the new digital Channel 7 is taking its place, Channel 7 and Eyewitness News will still be here, being part of your life. For all the future history yet to come. Well, we are getting ready. I'm going to turn my back a little bit to you. We have about a 35 seconds until this happens. Now, for those of you who already have digital, who have cable, who have files, who have a satellite, you're not going to see anything. We are going to be here the same as we always have. For those of you who have analog, in about 25 seconds, 20 seconds or so, your signal will go off. If you have a converter box, you're going to need to reboot that converter box. We've been talking to you a lot about that. We want no viewer left behind. This is a change in the way we communicate, and in about 10 seconds, the old analog way that has ushered in television for the last 60 to 70 years will be no more. We're going to count down to four, three. Bill Beam is going to push the button over here. Two, one. Bill, push the button. Digital 7 should be coming on. Now, if you have digital television already, nothing's changed.
in January. And they are running night lights service. As you can see, how exciting. 